Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. The point is that Biafra people will make sure that in Biafra territory, there will be no election next year. It is going to be the sacrifice we are going to make. The last sacrifice for Biafra to come. So those of you that are asking for clarification, this is the clarification. Biafra people will enforce the no election in Biafra land. It is the clarification you seek for. And so, it is the sacrifice we are going to make. It is part of this particular sacrifice we are making. So Biafra people, let me make it very clear. Biafra people will enforce no election in Biafra territory until referendum is conducted. We are taking this particular... You people think that uh, I was, you know, I was watching all this idiot. I was oh, you cannot stop people from going to vote. Exercise there. Who is stopping anybody from going to vote? The majority of the Biafra people are going to sit at home and they are going to protect their territory from Niger against Nigeria conducting election. I am telling you the fact. Save this particular video. Biafra people will sit at home during this election and they are going to fight anybody that will want to conduct election in Biafra land. That will be the beginning of the end of Nigeria. We have had enough. You have killed us enough. And we are going to... You see, freedom doesn't come with uh, emotion. I have said it before. Those of you who think that, oh, no, don't worry. They are going to tell you all the blame is going to be on you. You think that God is not preparing people like us for the past one year. For the past one year, all the blame in this world will have been on top of me and others. Does it change me? No. Does it move me? No. So that thing that they were doing to Simon Ekpa was actually preparing Simon Ekpa for 2023. Because I'm going to stand my ground with Biafra people. My own is to support them. So election will not take place. That heaven will fall. Let that in that that heaven will fall in 2023. Because my people have been killed. My people have been annihilated. My people have been, have been slaughtered. And nobody is talking about it. And because they are in Nigeria, they have lost every right to speak for themselves. They are unfit to make decisions for themselves. And that is why we in diaspora have taken it upon ourselves. I was, you know, you know, reading what the, the Bloomberg or Bloomberg, whatever they were writing. The man was, the man in Asa Rock was saying, Oh, European Union, no, come on, come to our aid, oh, you must prescribe IPOB, oh, um, uh, America, come on. This man have not called America to come on. Boko Haram is killing no. Come on, bandit is everywhere killing everybody. Come on. They went to um, a church oh, to kill people in our world. They have killed people in our world. Come on, we don't know how to protect our Christians. So come, come and help us. No! That is not part of the problem. He said that the insecurity in Nigeria is being, is, you know, uh, that it is secessionist. Why do you call us secessionist? Why can't you call us people that want to exit Nigeria? Why are they addressing us as, as, a, as a secessionist? <laughs> are we secessionists? No. We are not secessionists. We are exiting Nigeria. 
we are exiting the evil union. The union that we were forcefully joined and we did not consent to joining this particular evil union. So we have grown up to seek a redress. This is what is happening. It is like you have a child, you have children. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, when your children, you have children, maybe you have like so many children everywhere. The children, you go into agreement with their, with their mothers and all that. For those who have children everywhere. You go into agreement with their mother. As the children are growing up, they are going to make decisions for themselves. If the, the, the agreement you have with them is not okay, the children can decide for themselves how to live, how to relate with you as parent. For that reason, when this particular evil country entity called Nigeria was joined together, forcefully, the people were not consented. So now we grow up, we have come to age, we have come to see, we have traveled, and we say, hey, come on, we cannot accept this anymore. You can't just kill us and tell us to keep quiet. It is not possible anymore. We are now civilized and we are wise. Not only that we are wise, we are also wise and brave. And we can do anything for our freedom to come. So we are seeking a redress of this amalgamation that have turned out to be a curse on our people. And that is what every other person does. So if anybody come, let, no, let anybody come and challenge what we are doing. Let anybody come to say we have done wrong for stopping the election in 2023. We are stopping the election. The 1914 amalgamation must be readdressed. Revisited. Everybody is complaining, both the big and the small. And because they are in Nigeria, they are afraid of being killed. We are not in Nigeria, okay? We, we reside in the civilized world where we can express ourselves, you know, as according to the law of the country. And of course, according to international law. Because now this is a, 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 a cross-border thing. So the man come and start yapping. European Union, proscribed by POB. They are using a broadcast. They can do a hate, hate speech to cause problem in Nigeria. Please, European Union, come but you think that you take Mazinam the canoe. <laughs> you think you have succeeded. You thought that, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mazinam the canoe, you capture him in Kenya, or in Kenya, your concubine in crime and the part partners in crime. The same way Kenya was involved in the kidnap of Mazinam the canoe is the same way Kenya is being indicted for this particular corruption with Atiku, all of them. They thought that they have captured Mazinam the Kano. Oh, Biafra is gone. You will see some... Oh, God. We are going to make history. Trust me. We are going to make history next year. And the world will know that, yes, we have actually risen up to take it upon ourselves. We are going to make history. Forget all these people, all these uh, coaster that are carrying here. We are going to protect our women and our children from this terror. Because these are Boko Haram, repentant Boko Haram members that recruited into Nigeria. Army. So when they, they let them come. Let them come and kill them. They think that, uh, uh, you know, they think that uh, going from house to house in Biafra land is going to stop anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You don't know what is coming. <laughs> You think by bringing one million army into Biafra land and go from house to house, it's going to stop anything. The only thing that pains us is that you kill innocent people. You kill innocent people. You kill innocent people that have done nothing. You kill innocent people that have done nothing. And now we even hear, uh, you know, we even hear that, uh, that uh, some of them, some of them will uh, will go into a roadblock and then they will see anybody that have any mark in the body. They say, oh, you are an IPOB member. For that reason, you are going to, they are going to kill you because they believe you have put juju in your body. They are now trying to even abolish our culture because in Igbo culture, every, every person you give birth to, depending on where you come from, there is these people that you can keep, give mark 
to, to your children. You can give mark to your children. It is a native something. People do that. People do that. You Even me, I have mark. I have mark in my body. So if I have mark in my body now, they will say, oh, he's Odesh, uh, he's IPOB. Uh, so for that reason, kill him. He has mark in his body. And the, the elders and the leaders are not talking about this. They are fighting our culture, fighting everything that made us. Fighting our existence. Nobody is talking. The military will, uh, will take our young men. They will say, pull your clothes. They pull clothes. They look for mark. If your mark is in your body, that is the end. You are a non-government. And people are not talking about